<laughs> Welcome everybody. This is another episode of Beer Belly Pod. AJ, stop making funny faces. I'm trying to be serious. Uh, my Very co-host is AJ. Podcast. If you if you didn't pick that up, thanks for Alfred cool. Ramirez. Call Damn. him Alfred. Just call him Alfred. <laughs> Identity uh, stolen. I'm John. The guy who I'm likes AJ to talk smack on Alfred. Earlier, yes. Thank you it's for Alfred. that. Alfred. It's, it's <laughs> Alfred J. I actually don't mind that. Alfred J. Alfred J. Who headshotted you? Alfred J. Right, exactly. <laughs> and the J good. stands for Junior, right? It sounds like an up and coming, like, wannabe H&M model or something like that. Alfred J. <laughs> yeah. Damn that Alfred J. He's so hot right now. <laughs> <laughs> now you're getting it. Now you're getting it. Yeah. I can vibe with that a little bit. Only people from the 90s would get that joke. Probably. <laughs> and uh, two people that watched the sequel. Oh, that film. <laughs> I was one of those two. I was not. <laughs> oh. Whoever the other person was, God rest their soul. <laughs> I wasted my life on Anchorman 2 and Zoolander 2. God awful sequels. Both awful. wastes of life. Yep. <laughs> Bill and Ted 3. Fingers crossed. Here's hope. And I mean, Keanu Reeves seems enthusiastic about it, but I mean, he's acting in it. <laughs> we'll exactly. See. I mean, he can't say it's a shit show. Right. At least Although, not yet. I, I heard that, that Kevin Smith, he saw like a pre-screening of it. And he said there were parts of it that, that like literally made him like tear up a bit. And I'm like, wow, that's interesting. I'm open. Again, we'll I mean, I, I'm, a, I, I'm already taken back what I almost said. I was going to say everything that Keanu Reeves puts out is great, but <laughs> we watched a movie recently that mm-hmm. says otherwise. Go to our other podcast, ST Geek Podcast, and watch or li- I should say listen to our replicas starring Keanu Reeves commentary episode. That was really fun. <laughs> it was fun, to be fair. Yes. Was it a great movie? Listen no. and find out. <laughs> Spoilers, it's not but you should still <laughs> listen <laughs> still take the time anyway for sure so what do you have there my right. friend some bottle logic yeah so um okay oh, as you're as right this is real what's that it, it, it's a light boy but continue yeah yeah it is a, it is a lighter boy for sure but um to anyone who's a regular to this podcast over the past seven episodes or so or now eight episodes i should say um a buddy of ours by the name of mike he straight up just offered to kind of be like kind of like a low-key sponsor of the show by helping us out with getting us a couple beers Thank both you, of mike. which will be yeah thanks mike we'll be drinking for this episode and both of them are by bottle logic brewing same company from the last episode when we did the uh ghost photon uh, ghost proton uh, imperial I, stout i have not stopped thinking about that drink i Me feel neither. like i want another one right yeah it, w- it was really fun i can't wait and j- again to anyone who isn't who hasn't been listening to the past eight episodes now john spoiler alert ain't that big of a stout guy but just for him no, to say that he appreciated what we drank last last episode which was a fun episode to shoot uh, i would definitely recommend going back and watching it watching or listening to that one great stuff it, it was super good right? it's like one of the rare episodes i'm sure where we're only going to review one beer right what, what's what's interesting today is that i mean not only is it like kind of like a sponsored episode kind of um it's that again both both, yeah, both beers Big are man. thank you both beers are by bottle logic but two different style brews today can trip kalash a Kolsch, german, yeah Kolsch, german style l hmm yeah i haven't had a german style l in a very long time right i can't think of the last time i have so i guess without further ado let's freaking do it let's do it all right oh my can just exploded all <laughs> over my keyboard <laughs> They got excited about me opening it. John's yeah, side of the cool. screen is going to quickly disappear. <laughs> okay. That is a smell. Oh, it smells like a kind of sound. Smells like a Miller Lite. Oh, that's that tastes like an ale. Yeah, Miller Lite is actually a great way of uh, putting it. Are we drinking oh, this- Miller Lite? Is this a reskin of Miller Lite? <laughs> <laughs> this is like like if you're playing Overwatch or something like that and you pay 12 <laughs> bucks for a pack of skin <laughs> openings and you get the fancy one that you want, this is what it is. But it's still Miller Lite. <laughs> well played, Bottle Logic. <laughs> Honestly, though, it does taste a little heavier than something like yeah. that, which I'm fine with. I'd rather have a little more full flavor than something a little more watered down. You know what I mean? Yeah. But this is interesting, though. Let me, I got to give it another sip, and I'll, I'll pour a little bit for color reference as well. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, this is 4.5% alcohol. 
one of the lighter boys we've ever had on the show. It's not that bad. Yeah. John can probably have like 12 of these. Right. But again, uh, it, it feels a little thicker compared to like a Coors Light or Miller Light, though. Agreed. And I don't or feel Budweiser. like it has that same finish as a Miller. Right. I think this is a little bit smoother. I would agree. Uh, oh, yeah. It, I mean, it tastes a little more favorable. That's for sure. Mm-hmm. No, oh, yeah. If you ask me which one, this one. Right. Nothing against Bottle Logic or anything like that. Again, we had a great time last episode drinking one of their beers. But at the same time, I, I could see myself enjoying oh, yeah. this, even though we are more enthusiasts of like stronger beers, something a little more quite more hoppy at the same time i could see myself being able to enjoy this on a hot day this outside and just being oh, able yeah. to drink like i don't know throughout the day you know what i mean and not feel like totally gross and heavy by the end of it and bloated you know <laughs> I, I i totally get that this does remind me of like a miller corona taste even the color is kind of the same right i was I, wonder... I would still say much better than corona though 100 percent. yeah so but, but I wonder, similar vein i wonder what it's gonna taste like if we put lime in it mm, interesting well if you put lime in it it kind of becomes me a mexican german at that point so <laughs> it makes sense makes yeah sense. there you go there you go when you, when you get too close and you're like oh like, like, oh like, no you know, you take that bite you're like Ugh. do host <laughs> no <laughs> dear lord i'm drinking this aj <laughs> mm. Ain't too bad though. I'm appreciating this right now, to be honest. It's something again. I've had. A, it's been a really freaking hot day. Yesterday, I, I went on a walk, and by the time I got back, it was 106 outside. Today, mm. I didn't do nearly as much walking, but just being outside doing some yard work today. Fuck oh, me that's up. Killer. How hot was it? <laughs> um. Oh, excuse me. I think it was about the same. Yesterday, I'm sorry, yesterday was hotter. By the time I got back from my walk yesterday, like I said, it was 106. I think it was a high of like 110, 109. 110? Oh, Jesus Christ. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It was then, really hot over here, but not that hot. Well, you're near, you're closer to the coastline for sure. Yeah, yeah. That yeah. helps you get some of that thank, sea breeze. Thank Jesus, because <laughs> we're so close to the ocean that... Yes. Even on the hottest days of summer, they're not as bad as days where you live. Uh, no, absolutely. We don't. You don't get that like dank, dry heat where it's just. Ugh, there's no oh, moisture so in there for it. Luckily, it's been windy, so that that helps. But still, doesn't doesn't mean it's not hot. Ye- yesterday over here, at one point, it got to 101, mm-hmm. and we're moving offices at my oh, job. We're, but we're moving offices literally across the parking lot. So okay. it, it, it's literally like 30 seconds away, mm-hmm. but whoever planned it, planned it a little poorly. <laughs> and at one point, this was yesterday, he, the guy who plans it sends an email saying, take responsibility and go and grab your whiteboards. It's like, wow. that's what the movers are for. Yeah. So I did, I, I did a good hour of moving these whiteboards from one building Holy to the next. Holy shit. And there's like the standard size ones that the, the <clears throat> supervisors have that I have. Sure. And there's the ones that the managers have that are literally double the size. Wow, like a classroom whiteboard almost. <laughs> huge, yeah. The, the thing must have weighed an easy forty to fifty pounds. Holy shit! Yeah, that's pretty heavy. Wow. Yeah, it's it's huge. It's huge. And, yeah. Um, we needed two of us to do it. The the supervisor whiteboards mm-hmm. were easy because we had elevators, but those jumbo ones didn't fit on the elevator. So we had to bring them downstairs, move it across the building, and then back up the stairs that that are windy stairs or wind once oh dude i really needed a beer after that i bet i hope you had one later I on did not. <laughs> oh no i did not not even after work oh. no the day before I, I got drunk off of um truly's so oh boy see that's you something want a diet. <laughs> oh, yeah no i respect that i've been better about drinking more hard seltzer something lighter excuse me <laughs> Oof. they get the job done they're not as good as beers but boy do they get the job done you know what? i was just gonna say and i've said it before and I'll, I'll say it until it happens i've yet to ever get like heavily buzzed or really very buzzed at all from a hard seltzer yet and i've had but then again i only have like two to three max at a time so like i on a giving day on a giving i day. was i had the same thought as you and then what I started to do when I devoted myself to drinking these, basically, <laughs> yeah. uh, is I shotgun them. Mm, okay. I shot, yeah, I you have mentioned I that. Them. And, it, you know, I shotgun one can for sure. 
I try to get that bad boy done within two minutes. <laughs> the second one, I try to like drink the half of a can and then I chill. So then by the time I'm at the third one, I'm feeling good. Trust me. I'm feeling good. <laughs> <laughs> well, it seems like you're on a mission. Like you know exactly what you're what you're there to do. Oh yeah. And I, you're you're I doing do what science. it takes to get there. Yeah. The science has been done. <laughs> Hypothenus and everything. <laughs> Hypothenus being the true scientific term for that word. <laughs> Oh my and my God. conclusion was, I'm always right. <laughs> <laughs> he says in his drunken state. <laughs> not yet. Not off of a Miller. I mean, a bottle of Andre. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I can't wait for us to be able to visit this brewery because it is in Anaheim, California. So a nice midway point for the two of us to meet sometime. That would be really fun. Oh, yeah. You know where it's at? I, I, I just know it's in Anaheim. I don't know how it, close it is. Do you? It's like across the street from um, Camelot. If you've ever oh yeah 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 that sounds yeah. fun it's literally like across the street i'm down yeah I've, I've been to camelot a couple times as a little kid like for those of you who are maybe outside of the southern california area it's like kind of like a miniature amusement park like 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 not the but yeah like mini uh, mini golf mini and golf. stuff like that arcades laser tag and stuff like that roller coasters it's pretty fun little spots cute it's good for like a little first date kind of thing but uh oh. that, that, that sounds fun i've actually been a few times okay to to win <laughs> i love my girlfriend but i'm there to win i feel you <laughs> if you ain't first you last so i i hope they still have that open because i could see like rounds of, of miniature golf being like a good social distance of like something to do um like you know what i mean like that's an oh, event yeah. you can go and do and everyone it kind of like in a normal round of golf where you have like a foursome or whatever you all go out there and you whack your balls and then everyone waits their turn once the hole's done with then it's the next group's turn so on and so forth you know that actually would be kind of fun I, I wonder if they do that if it's still it might i mean it might be it's outdoors but i know like boomers there was a boomers right by where we live closed down yes. so that was a little um, sad because we had been there a few times too mini golfing is fun mm-hmm I agree. It's crazy that I hadn't done it until like a year ago. Oh, really? Uh, I've never done it before. Oh, I'm surprised I never took you out on a date to do that, to be honest with I'm you. I'm a little disappointed. You always just took me out to get drunk, basically. <laughs> and I'd wake up the following morning with a headache wondering what happened. <laughs> I bludgeoned you. <laughs> it happens. If when Yvonne's you're there agent, still and listening, just let her know it happened. it happened. Whatever she thinks or is curious about what happened, happened. <laughs> so... She, Go ahead. She recently brought up how you, how again, we, we don't, at least I don't remember the backstory, how you, you said I, would, I wouldn't lick a brick. And I <laughs> lick <the> brick. <laughs> Sorry for that ugly laugh, but holy shit. So, yeah, a little back story to our friendship slightly. That, this is probably like one of the last times John and I drank out in like public like went out to drink <laughs> for for a day and apparently that's how the night ended was with me daring john to lick a brick and apparently he did it i wish i remembered i aj was somehow there but still not there and neither was john apparently what day was that did we have to work the following day i wouldn't doubt it i'm sure we would make bad choices like that i wouldn't well, doubt we it. did i know for a fact there was one time <laughs> where we went to dba and they had pliny the elder oh my god up with you. i think you were there way before we were and we met sin, up and sin we, and i were there first right we, yeah and we were both like okay no more than two beers and then like seven beers later <laughs> we fucked up. <laughs> no it's true i remember uh, like sin and i were driving and then you hit me up about it and i was like I, and I asked her, I was like, you feel like like going for just like a round of drinks real quick? And she's like, how long do you want to hang out there? I was like, well, probably only have like no more than, than like one an or two. An hour tops. Yeah, <laughs> an hour tops. We'll probably just be in and out. One drink, maybe two. It's just that there, there's a rare beer that, that we don't get to have at a bar very often. Pliny the Elder, as you said. And so she's like, yeah, sure, why not? And then next thing we know, trashed. <laughs> trashed. Fucked up. I we don't remember it, the last half of that night. I the one of the last things I remember is that some dude or dudes I think it was just one guy tried talking to them and then we kind of just walked up and then he was kind he kindly escorted himself away from the area that was nice bastard <laughs> I don't remember that but bastard mm. it's all right you can't blame them they're pretty gals <laughs> so you recently got back from um speaking of ST Geek earlier the uh our friend that we do that show with is Peter who recently kind of celebrated a little bit of like a bachelor weekend. How was that? 
It wasn't really a bachelor weekend. That's more so when we're all up there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, be, Yvonne ended up coming, so nice. We went to round one. Cool. That was probably like the highlight. They have one oh. out there. Yeah, they do, and it's oh. open. Nice. So it's by uh, Glenn's his parents' old home. Where mm-hmm. He threw up on the freeway. I have to say it again. Drinking. Don't or don't overdrink. Don't be an AJ. <laughs> don't be an AJ. And, <laughs> It's literally right by there, and it was nice. We went bowling as a group, Diego, Glenn, Peter. We won a lot of teddy bears. Not really. <laughs> oh, yeah. And then it, it, we hit such bad traffic going up. It took us like five hours to get there. I remember seeing your uh, texts, yeah. We were able to play Marvel 3 on Peter's gaming laptop for like a good 30, 40 minutes. Nice. On the way up. So it, it kind of killed a little bit of time. That's cool. Does that mean uh, Yvonne drove for you guys then? On yeah yeah she drove there and the way back. Dang, took one for the team. Yeah, she did. Nice, that's cool. How did so, it work out? It it wasn't anything too crazy. Mm-hmm. The craziness is coming up though. Oh, we did take a, the shots or like one third of shots of the Everclear. Oh, it's oh, like the one that that Glenn bought, right? It's like the hundred and eighty proof. <laughs> Ooh, and we all agreed we're gonna do it when you come there. Ninety percent um, alcohol, sir. Holy shit. The way I the way I experienced it was I had to try to swallow it a second time <laughs> because when I took the shot and you you can vouch for this AJ, I'm really good at taking shots. Like shots are just <laughs> boom, I'm done. Yeah. This one I, you know, I did the usual right at the back of my throat and my throat did not want to take <laughs> <laughs> not that first time holy shit that's oh so my. good and then probably mm-hmm. within and one third of a shot AJ. and within a good 30 minutes mm-hmm. we were all very buzzed uh, very 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 buzzed that's crazy dude are you done with your beer no 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 i still have about oh. a little less than half to go yeah i'm somewhere around here i have about like a third left that's yeah, so crazy dude. That well 90 percent alcohol what do you expect Holy crap. We got mad. Well, we didn't get messed up. But we did drink the second day on Saturday. Peter mm-hmm. did, actually. Glenn, nice. Glenn and Diego kind of, they were all talk on Friday that Saturday they were going to drink and yada yada, but they didn't. Uh-huh. They had their fun on Friday night? Well, we all just took one third of a shot and that was mm-hmm. it. Mm-hmm. But, you know, Diego drank a little bit. Glenn had a little tiny bit, of bit but it was a whiskey weekend for sure. That's cool. We, we were literally just drinking whiskey. There's nothing wrong with that. That sounds like a lovely little time. I saw the to- we went to the Total Wine right by uh, oh, Glens. Uh huh. And they have the 18 year um, whistle pig there. Let's do it, AJ. Let's just. How much? How much was it? Three hundred. Oh, okay. Fifty. That's it. Three fifty total. Yeah. Well, I'm sure it's more after taxes, but taxes aren't as big in, ta- in Nevada. Maybe three seventy five by the end of it. No, you know, we can go halves. It's a good uh, episode. That sounds fun as heck. That sounds fun as heck. As long as Peter doesn't mind us taking time away from his wedding weekend to shoot a quick episode, then why the fuck not? Maybe we can even have them be a part of it if they wanted to. That would be fun. Actually, right. that would be a lot of fun. Mm-hmm. When I was up there, I did buy this miniature um, oh, whoa. whistle pig. That's Teeny that's tiny. freaking tight, dude. For comparison. <laughs> <laughs> it did look much larger up close. That's awesome. <laughs> Until it stood next to your big old head. I, I, I got it for <laughs> Diego. I was that's telling Diego, cool. I, I was already hyping him up because we saw the 18 year and the boss hog there. And I was like, Diego, this whiskey's so good, yada, yada. So when we were leaving, we saw them on the counter and I was like, grab him. Diego actually owed me money, so he bought two of these. And when he got nice. there, the cashier actually was like, this is an amazing whiskey. He, like, hyped it up. And I was like, I'm so happy that somebody else actually talked about yeah. how good this is. That's so, freaking cool. Whistle Pig, I'm down to put down, you know, half for an 18-year. Get messed up. Um, no, yeah, I mean, we can you, talk about that later. No, no, I mean, but three fifty down the middle ain't too bad at all. That's that, that sounds like fun to me. Yeah. That and sounds we, like you fun know, to me. You, that, that's the awful part about it is you know we're gonna finish it that weekend. <laughs> yeah. Oh well, that's the only problem is that right now I have myself scheduled to come back to work that following Tuesday because we get back mm-hmm. on Monday, right? Back into town. Yes. So I think even though I'm scheduled to come back, or I, I. 
any long story short, when I put in my paid time off, I'm going to probably request that Tuesday as well. Even though I didn't put it in writing, I'm going to officially it's, submit it's it having choice. Tuesday off. I'm going to need it. I'm going to need it. I know myself. I'm, I, I've considered it and I think I'm going to, cause I only request it up to Monday, but there you go. We're I, in the same boat. I, I have a feeling that, well, besides the wedding day, cause which is going to be crazy. We're going to forget the wedding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we're going to get messed up. It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun for everyone there. Like it's just going to be a crazy, crazy time. It's not every day your best friend gets married. And so I'm, I'm happy that freaking that we get to celebrate with Peter and Maylee. It's going to be, it's going to be awesome. We're going to get messed up. Hell yeah, Messed dude. up. Messed up. Okay. <laughs> Beer podcast talking about getting messed up. Um, I know, right? <laughs> drink responsibly, people. Absolutely. We can't lose our sponsor. <laughs> we apologize, Mike. <laughs> hey, man. He, uh, he's, he's supplying the habit right now, so I appreciate yeah, that. He is. <laughs> Beautiful art to the can, too. I love how it's like a hollow I, foil to the I gold was, as well. I think it's a little basic compared to the other one. I think the other can is oh, fun. The Ghost Proton is such no, a cool design. The, the other bottle logic we're going to have. The Stout? Oh, that one. Yeah, that one has more fun. It's more fun looking. Yeah. Fun, yeah. For sure. It's silly. This is more like family seals across it and stuff like mm-hmm, that. Which makes sense because it's a German yeah. Stout style l so i'd imagine right. i don't know i don't know what i'm saying i'm trying to be smart i'm not smart no no um, i feel you i feel you it's got like the drock on it and stuff it's tight so it's aj cool. a, a movie i was gonna recommend for the pod but i'm not going to anymore because peter kind of ruined it oh and he, he ruined it before i was gonna like before i even said what i was gonna recommend what? uh he was he peter said on the way up that we shouldn't be reviewing comedies anymore mm because there's not yeah yeah because he said some of the boring episodes like stuber or i couldn't even tell you another one um there's not much to talk about fair enough they're not always the deepest i was gonna recommend palm springs i see i've been wanting to watch that one i keep hearing great things it is good and i feel like that's still a good one to talk about because it's a comedy but there's some things to it that i think are great that would be fun to talk about but like if we if we don't do it for the pod, I'd love to like talk about it on this. Yeah. Either way, I'm I'm totally in. I've been wanting to watch it for like a month now, and I just haven't taken the time to do so. so. I'm yeah, down. So it's a- Annie Sandberg. Yeah. Uh, the Lonely Island Boys production and mm-hmm. you know, Hot Rod. Right. We were on that hot rod and trained for a few years. I'm still down to revisit it one of these days. Uh, th- to be fair to Peter's statement, I do feel where he's coming from slightly because it's like it's it's a little weird to talk about just how funny some parts are, I guess. But at the same time, as long as the story has enough depth to it, yeah, to where there's more to talk about than just the jokes, the comedy, then that's then that's so it's cool. Because I mean, nothing is less funny about a joke than explaining why the joke is funny. But if you can talk right. about if there's more to talk about than just that, then yeah, why not, dude? That's uh, that's I'm fine with that. That sounds cool. Absolutely. And I might because the premise is really good. Mm. It, it's not like the newest premise, but just the way they did it is really great. Gotcha. I, I, I've, I've heard some comparisons and stuff like that, but I have yet to have the movie like really spoiled for me or anything like that. Like no event in the movie has been they all spoiled to me. <laughs> there we go. Fair enough. Every single one of them dead. <laughs> Damn. Oh, Excuse well, sp- speaking of watching stuff for the pod, a couple episodes back, you suggested we watch anime SpongeBob. You're a terrible person. I, wa- I felt really hey, bad. Are you done with the can? I I can be if you want me to, but I just before, have like a good like we, little bit. Before we get into that, let's finish this can. All right, before, all right, let's do that. I'm down. Mm. Mm. Ah, all right. I'll be right back. We'll talk to the people. Let them know where they can find us. I'm just gonna grab my beer from the fridge. Don't leave me, AJ. I'm scared. I'm sorry. Don't be do scared. it. scared. No, AJ, come back. Be strong, please, my friend. Please. Be strong. Hey, no, don't go. You got this. You can follow us at Beer Belly Pod. Uh, you can hit us up on the Twitters at Beer Belly Pod, Instagram, Beer Belly Pod, uh, Gmail at Beer Belly Pod. You can recommend any kind of drinks you'd like us to taste. We'll drink just about anything that'll get us drunk the other week. And I had Everclear, and that shit was gross. But if you recommend it, we'll take a shot of it, and AJ will get silly. So, again, you can follow us, send us suggestions on, uh, uh, wow, AJ, seeing your beautiful face <laughs> threw me off. I was, I was, uh, 
pluginess, and yeah. I almost said ST geek. <laughs> <laughs> I always almost do it too. I'm, I'm, in fact, I'm sure I, I pretty much did in a previous episode anyway. Yeah, so, so it's all good. <laughs> you can get, send us any suggestions or follow us at. I almost did it again at Beer Valley Pod tw- on Twitter, Instagram, uh, or Gmail. Right? Yes, yes, absolutely. No, no Tic Tacs, not for this one, right? Not for the, you know what? Okay. Ever since, oh, ever, it's banned. It, yes, ever since the country wanted to ban it, I was kind of like, uninstall. Hopefully that makes a difference. <laughs> so we'll, we will see. We will certainly see, dear God. <laughs> right? So for this next one, while John's grabbing his can, as we mentioned earlier, this one is also by Bottle Logic Brewing. Oh, oh. Shane, I got the wrong guy. <laughs> God damn it, John. Um, <laughs> let me see here. So, yes, this one is called Study Break. It's an imperial stout with lactose, cacao nibs, and peanuts. So, if you have a peanut aller- allergy, it might not be safe to drink this one. I don't know if it has real peanut extract in Ooh. there. Ooh. 10%, AJ. Yeah, we're going to get this messed up. This is asking up. for a good time. I, this I was is just <laughs> drinking this at the prom. AJ unbuckles my bra, and I don't know about it. Bro. Mm-hmm. Kind of beer. You just look Ooh. at me, and I'm like, I don't, I don't know what happened. I, I don't know. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but uh, as you mentioned earlier, though, this one does have a pretty fun design to it. I imagine you're probably getting some mean glare from my uh, ring light right now. But, yeah. Oh, uh, I think mine got it. There you go. There you go. But yeah, it's a pretty fun little little design to it, though. So I'm I'm really excited. This looks really really fun. And Look at it's, that ten percent, oh. right? Nice, nice. Actually, good focus on that one. <laughs> but um, I, I'm pretty excited. This is the second Imperial Stout that we've had on the show from this brewery. So I'm hoping that this one's pretty fun too, Ooh. as far as taste All goes. Right. I'm vi- I've never had a lactose beer, so I guess anything kind of nitro ish. Like, uh, I mean, yeah, I don't know. We'll see what it's like. Mm. That's a stout. I didn't even taste it, but man. It smells like a stout, right? It smells That's like a Snickers a bar, kind of. Oh. Oh. Shall we? No. Don't <laughs> <laughs> Remember Ghost Proton. Remember Ghost Proton. This doesn't have marshmallows. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck. All right. Cheers. Oh. This, like, Ghost okay. Proton is there. I, I, I get the ooh. I'm getting the peanut. I don't know if I like it though. It, it tastes like a roasted peanut. <laughs> yeah, it kind of does. Right? Yeah, they like the roasted kind of taste, but it, it makes sense, you know, being a stout and all with the cacao and, and that and such. It's gonna cacao. taste a little roasty. Yeah. <laughs> uh, ooh. God damn, that's, boy. that's like what hits me in the face more than anything else is that mm-hmm. peanut, which I guess I see why they have the Snickers bar right. on here. Yeah. Not a good comparison. <laughs> yeah, not quite. I mean, I guess if you were to bite into one, you'd kind of get a similar flavor, but I don't oh. feel like I don't taste like anything roasted when I bite into a Snickers, though, you know? You know, the more and more we drink stouts, the more and more I'm starting to realize that these are very creamy drinks. They can be, aren't can't they? Oh. Yeah. Mm hmm. Okay. Very AJ. thick, very a little syrupy at times. Yep. It's okay. I'm gonna do it. We, we will it. do. We will do this. But yeah, it's it's a it's For a you, rough boy. Thank you, the listeners and viewers. Oh, but yeah, it's a full pint, a nice tall cans worth. I don't know how much this costs, Mike. But again, Mike, thank you very much for supporting thank the show. Thank you so much. If there's ever if if you who are watching listening, I know John probably already promoted it, but if. Obviously, if you have suggestions, let us know. If you would like us to actually pick up some brew from you or you want to send it our way, let us know. We could probably we'll provide it. some sort of address. That would be really fun. So it's like a nice, inexpensive way for you to be a sponsor is kind of just by, if you can supply us, we won't deny Get us it. drunk. All yeah. we're asking for is for you to get us drunk. <laughs> exactly. Are we if, bad people? <laughs> if, if you enjoy the show... <laughs> then just let us know in some small way. What do you like about the show? What could we do different? What do you think doesn't need to be in it? I mean, this is, we're only in episode eight. So help us form the show to your liking kind of, you know, and if we get enough feedback, we'll see what we can do. Yep. yep. Mm. All right, Adrian. Now tell me about your experience with SpongeBob. Anime SpongeBob. Oh my God. So I'll admit the moment you sent me the thumbnail a couple weeks ago, I was like, anime SpongeBob. (laughs) Okay, we'll see how this is. I don't know really what to expect. This is probably going to be a little dorky. But from like second two, (laughs) I was like, this has like 
one punch man kind of all over it for the yeah. best reasons. Like it, like, <laughs> it's like, how can I explain? I'm all, all the verbiage I want to use is flying out of my mind right now, but That's essentially what I'll do to you. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Thought process done. <laughs> Never started. None, but <laughs> seriously, it's kind of just like a spoof on all anime. It just kind of all the serious plots about anime and all the serious conversations that happen. It just puts a joke on across uh, all, all of it, it. Don't which you is love so Patrick? much fun. Pa- <laughs> Patrick is like, just like a gay badass. <laughs> Yeah, they, they won't die. Admi- They're too yeah. beautiful. To die. Yeah. <laughs> he just admires how beautiful SpongeBob and Squidward are. But dude, like the art style is great. I love the banter, like the, the, the cliche banter between SpongeBob and Mr. Krabs and stuff. <laughs> and then how SpongeBob walks away and he's like thinking to himself, he mm-hmm. must know what he truly is. That's like every anime trope right there. <laughs> yes, exactly. Exactly. It, it, it was. It was wonderfully done. Only like a 15 minute long episode. So if you were watching or listening, have a moment, just go on YouTube, type in anime SpongeBob and have a great time. An amazing time. It's pretty fun. I I really did not think I was going to want to watch more episodes than just the one. But by the end of it, I was like, this looks like it could be a really fun time. How good was that intro, AJ? Dude, it was like a classic fucking anime (laughs) intro, especially when they interweave some English in there as well. (laughs) <laughs> mm-hmm. and how w- i love the way they drew cool. all of the characters mm-hmm. oh yeah it was freaking awesome i can't wait to see what what squidward and, and patrick are capable of or sandy for that matter or mr Krabs. like i i want to see what they can do in a fight one day and it makes me want to buy a shirt <laughs> like i know that they, they're promoting merch more. i yes. kind of want to buy a shirt now <laughs> i really hope they make more that really co- and i had heard about it and I was like, no, I'm okay. But I wasn't. I was working out, and I had nothing else to watch. Mm-hmm. And it was there. And I was like, okay, I've heard them talk about it. It had seven million views in a week. Jeez. So it's like, well, why the fuck not? And yeah, I was like, this is amazing. I have to recommend it to everybody. I show. I told Peter about it, and him and Glenn watched it. <laughs> I, I know Peter loved it. I'm pretty oh, sure wow. he did too. I wouldn't doubt it. We all grew up in the same era watching the same shit. Well, he said that he didn't like SpongeBob, Peter, oh. but he said just the fact that it's like this, that mm-hmm. it was very different. Absolutely. It's just like, if you want, if you like, if you want to watch an anime or I, I should oh. say, if you don't want to watch an anime because you don't think it's for you watch this. Cause at least it's kind of like poking fun at how sometimes how seriously anime can take itself, you know? <laughs> I'm but just they, tasting this peanut a little bit too much. <laughs> I don't think I like it. Not a big fan of chocolate and peanut, besides the Reese's and every every oh. other thing that's chocolate and peanut buttery. Right. I love peanut butter people. Yeah. To the extreme. But this, this is heavy. It's heavy. Right. The well, way you said, said heavy sounded heavy. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> the, what I said about what I liked about the Cantrip Kolsch earlier being a, a light beer, a light flavored beer to where i feel like i can drink it throughout the day this no 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 it's punching you in the face yeah i could probably have like two and be totally good because obviously it's 10 percent. so yeah i don't need more than a couple for myself anyway but jesus this is strong shit holy crap so but yeah anime spongebob though so good super good so aj moving on okay already i I am very curious oh boy how many of those planning for presidents do you have left I only have one left. Okay, so do I. How how quickly did you burn through them? See, now <laughs> you're asking me a good you ask me a good question and to answer your question, how quickly I burn through them? Well, I burned through a whole two, maybe two and a half. The rest my dad had. Your dad had that many? He had like five and a half on his own, yeah. AJ, mm-hmm. you need to hide those beers. Yeah. Yeah. I I was like he had, I mean, I don't want to be a downer, but I'm just, this, okay, I'll try to make this fun. This is, <laughs> it's not that easy. I've just been <laughs> so frustrated because he has no freaking idea how unobtainable this beer is, how hard we had to hunt to be able to get it to, or to be able to order it because the first one or two times it was available this year, it went, it sold out like that. And then Very when we cool. finally were able to get our hands on it, because we were watching Russian Rivers social media like a hawk, I, we were able to pick it up real quickly. Thank God. 
And then we got it in like two or three days later. Awesome. And he got so excited. We both, I was like, you know what? To celebrate, you'll have a, a can, dad. I'll have a can. We'll all have a, great, a good time together. And then the next thing I knew, uh, I told him, that. I was like, hey, dad, this is a really special beer. It's, a, it's an offshoot of Pliny the Elder. I don't know if they're ever going to do this again. Maybe they'll only do this every four years when a new president comes around or when the presidential inaugurations, whatever, come around, the debates. And so he's like, oh, that's so cool. Awesome, awesome. Well, he bought into the fucking hype so badly that he drank five and a half of my fucking share of eight beers. Oh, yeah. I've just been. I would be irritated. I've been very bitter, as you can understand. I've been very bitter of late. So I mean, late. It's been a couple of weeks, so I've calmed down a little bit about it. it. It's not like on the forefront of my mind right now. By the way, oh just for God, color reference, it's like oil. That's what's going into we're, our body. We're drinking gasoline. <laughs> <laughs> Starting to feel that ten percent. Oh. By the way, anyway, <sighs> yeah. Just, just to show, I had yeah, I had about one and a half, two and a half of those beers. My dad had. The rest, I'm withholding one just for the giveaway. I figured yeah, yeah. it's not it's not your fault that my dad burned through my share, so I'm just going to send my last one well, for the for the giveaway. What I, I was actually talking to Yvonne about this. This this really should be a conversation offside of recording. <laughs> <but> <laughs> I I whoever gives one up there, I have one left too, so we mm-hmm. can share that can at Vegas half and half. You know? Oh, I'm fine with That's that as I long could, as you don't mind. You know, enjoy but together. Share, no, though. I don't care. I. I have been lucky enough to have we seven have eight, of them, right? Yeah, so you've had seven. Well, no, I gave my dad three. Oh, that's nice of you. Okay, cool. And then I didn't drink one, so I've had four. Oh, I've that's had good. Four in my body. <laughs> that's good. I'm very jealous. That's like one and a half more than I've had. So, if you're if you're sure, that sounds great to me, man. We, yeah, we we'll, I mean, we'll have the winner announced by but before we leave for Vegas. So that that's good. Do you want to promote it? yeah yeah by the way yes yeah, so um while we're on the topic if you haven't heard yet wow. um we do we are having a russian river ipa giveaway where first prize where we have first and thir- second and third place uh winners first prize first place prize is going to be what uh pine of the elder double ipa yep. uh happy hops ipa blind pig ipa mind circus hazy ipa and then double dry hopped double ipa which is plenty for president 2020 el presidente el presidente the elder <laughs> all by Russian river all quality freaking beers my dad and i actually both had a happy hops the other day for lunch which is actually kind of nice okay mm-hmm. now i know it's not your favorite ipa mm. by them but i appreciate i mean it, every beer that we're giving away is quality signing up is really easy just yeah. check out if you go to our, on our youtube channel just search beer belly podcast on youtube you'll be you'll be able to find the the, the uh, video real easily it's only a few minutes long explaining the rules you can also follow us on twitter as john plugged earlier at beer belly pod on twitter and we have the official yes. rules posted there as well on our profile it's not very hard to do just email us showing that you follow us on instagram and twitter and that gets you an entry right there so Right and, there, yeah, and it's a good giveaway. We're giving away an almost six pack. Yeah, for the first prize, for, for, for first, first prize winner. Prize, yeah. it's almost six pack, and yeah. it's a, the highest of quality of beer. Exactly. Right. Mm-hmm. So you should really get into it because again, it's something I would personally just rather us be able to share and have a good time with. But I know I don't want to give we away need to an get back to you. Pack. Yeah, right to you that's watching though we want to give back and just say thank you for watching and listening we already um so as, as of the recording of this episode earlier today when i uploaded episode seven um it was like an hour later we already had a few plays so i was like oh that's really cool i i think one of them might have been from myself but other than that i was like oh cool Stay these away, other ones Andre. are from everyone else I just wanted to hear how the audio came out. I always like to see, like, okay, cool. This is how it sounds like in the edit. What does it sound like as one full thing? And uh, so I just wanted to make sure I listened, just to be sure. But anyway, excited. I hope I, whoever wins, just good luck and happy sipping, man. They're they're high quality beers. Look at that pinky, Andrea. Way out. Way Did out. you know about the pinky thing before or after the SpongeBob episode? <laughs> I did know about it beforehand, but sure? did it reinforce? My my you drinking knew style. it when you were like seven. Yeah, it was probably okay. it, was, it was in like a like comedy show or you something. Right. You bit bougie. I can't do it. You're doing it right there. Try it, it with your left right. hand. Try it with your left. There you go. 
You know when you did do it naturally oh. when we when we were wine tasting in San Francisco right before COVID, your pinky was naturally going out. For balance, you said. It was well, like I saw you and Peter doing it. I mean, I felt left out. <laughs> I didn't want to be the uncultured occurred. swine. <laughs> I'll be honest. Anytime my pinky's out, unless I'm doing it ironically, it's just a natural thing that happens. I'm not, I don't even think about it. I get it. Next thing I know, Illusion. I'm like, oh, shit. Damn. Okay. <laughs> All day. All day. Yeah, or a day. So, real quick, a little more current events, if you will. Did you see the little trailer for Master Roshi being in Dragon Ball Fighters? I did. Everybody was making fun of it because of um, it was like two seconds long. Yeah, dude. That Dragon Ball Fighters. Uh, I mean, as as cool of, of a fighting game as it is, it is unfortunate that every time they have a character announcement, each trailer is like the same amount of time, which is like you get about three seconds total of actual gameplay, which doesn't give you a whole lot of speculation as to what the hell the character can do, which is unfortunate. But I'm just happy that the character is going to be in the game anyway. Finally, not another Goku clone. Right? I mean, that said, every Goku character in that game's kind of cool in their own way, I guess. I mean, I don't think they needed Super Saiyan Blue. I'll say that much. I think that's probably the unnecessary one. Trade out Super Saiyan or Super Saiyan Blue Goku. Either one, interchangeable as far as I'm concerned. And, you know. I think I yeah. would rather see a full, full character of Super Saiyan 4 Goku opposed to Blue. Oh, yeah. It's more interesting. It's more interesting I, in my I, mind. I've said this before in the past, and I stick by why I say it. GT is terrible. It's awful. Don't waste your time. But <laughs> Super Saiyan 4 is a really cool-looking form. <laughs> I think it's cooler looking than blue. It, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's it totally different. is. It totally is. It's just different. And mm -hmm. it's such a cool twist on a new transformation. It's Go not, oh, well, it's, let's, it's let's a great design, too. The hair pink, which, by the way, is my favorite Goku. Um, Rosé. Rosé, yeah. I love Goku. Black. Is it because he's evil or what? Yeah. He's, he's just a bastard? He, he's pretty badass. I mean, like, second favorite villain next to um, Frieza. Oh, hell. Well, Frieza's just so diabolical. Just so di Like, Frieza just doesn't give they a shit. Made him he's a spoiled more bitch. Well, he was diabolical in Z, but they, mm. like, really, like... He's in every season now in... Um, in Super. the newest one? Super. That's cool. Damn, brain fart. <laughs> yeah, you're watching yeah. it way more than I am. Shoot. Well, I'm pretty up to date with the manga. I don't read it, but you know, I I watch the the reviews of the manga. Oh, okay, okay. I'm nice, looking forward nice. for them to turn it into an actual, you know, season. That would be fun eventually. Maybe it's when they're able. Yeah, to... it's gonna be really cool. Like, I'm excited. I can't wait. I can't wait. It's gonna be freaking hype. I need to catch up with that manga though too, because when I was reading Super, it was really fun. I just need to take the time to get back into it. I really, really do. Don't do it. No? Super? No, I'm playing. I, I've heard pretty um, okay reviews on the manga. Mm. Okay. I, I, know the manga is I, I know it's different than the actual series or the, the anime. Oh, yeah. Or there's differences. But from my understanding, the anime is a bit better than the manga. Okay. Although this arc is really good. That's what I keep hearing. Like, uh, apparently, it's like as hype as it gets. And the apparently, arc, there's going to be a character that may or may not be able to be revived in the near future, from what I hear. I've heard rumblings of. Hmm. I don't know, like a forever death. Can there ever be a thing in Dragon Ball? I don't know. Oh, you're saying somebody actually dies. Okay. And may not be able to be revived, apparently. That's, that's the speculation well, right now. Somebody died. Ooh. But we'll that's see. the way the chapter ended. So I wonder what's going to happen. Okay, 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 okay. I'm excited. Read but it, read it. For sure. Anyway, the, 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 the Turtle Master, big old pervert old boy. I'm excited because he's a really fun character. Goku wouldn't be the fighter he is right, uh, right now without Master Roshi teaching him as Master a kid. Roshi, the so Roche, I'm the so Army. down for the Roshi. Yeah, totally down. I'm excited for that. I feel like he's going to be really fun. Well, one thing that I heard that people are disappointed by um, is that he there's have a super dash. Yep. Yep. That's, that's the rumor. Yeah. It's not confirmed, but it is a rumor and people which is kind of crazy. Yeah. People are upset because they're well, like, it, it's a core mechanic that every character needs to be able to utilize to continue pressure and to, to make combos he, happen. He's an be better. flight character. Right. Exactly. And he's an old man. So it makes sense that he's he not never like that the technique. Yeah. There's exactly. an actual name for the technique too, but I couldn't, for the life of me, I couldn't tell you. Like in the show canon? Yeah, on like them flying. Mm. It's a technique because I think it was like TN and um, 
Yamcha, not Yamcha, Tien and Chaozu. Chaozu, who were like the first ones to actually be show flying. In oh, Ball. shit. Mm. Oh, shit. I never thought about that. Even before. Oh, I guess. Yeah, they definitely came in the show before Piccolo did long before. Yes. And they were flying at that point, like when they were introduced mm. it was flying for sure. OK, OK, OK. Gotcha. That's kind of crazy. I never realized that, but that's a good point. But I mean, there's other non-flyable characters in that in the in the canon of the show too, like Yamcha. I don't believe I ever learned how to fly, right? Definitely ground-based boy. J- j- no, just like just like in Dragon Ball Fighters, anyway. So I mean, if they can make he, that character work, he flies. Yamcha? No. He flies to the ground after he gets smacked down mm, and creates de- a crater. Definitely, when he flies. I never noticed it. Oh shit. Well, because he's a nothing character. He's like the Dan of the... <laughs> yeah. He, you know? ex- except for in a fighting game, he was actually really good. But that's about it. He's still top tier from my understanding. That's tight. I mean, Wolfing Fist is a really cool looking move. That so move I'm, was I'm always down. cool. I have always thought that move was cool. Mm-hmm. I didn't finish Dragon Ball, but I, I, you know, I definitely made it to that far. And mm-hmm. um, I always thought that move was badass. Oh, yeah. It, it's funny because in Dragon Ball, at least for like an arc, he... Yamcha was the badass of the show, you know? Oh. For an arc. <laughs> for one arc. Yeah. And even then, I think he still got his ass beat. Well, I mean, Goku. at the end of the day, di- yeah, he was never stronger than Goku. A rival for a Ooh. moment, but that's about it. Yeah. <laughs> you okay? Mm. This, t- I, I'm not trying to talk bad. No, no, no. But if there were two Snickers in front of me and one was ex- one was expired... I would get the other Snickers. <laughs> <laughs> Please watch the video episodes of the show. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely missing out. I'm making right. some weird faces. <laughs> I'm just appreciating the gestures. It's good stuff. <laughs> oh my God. Um, so one thing I wanted to sh- just throw out there um, next to kind of sponsoring the show, like say if, for instance, you kind of want to maybe you just want us to be able, you want to send us stuff or if you want us to unbox something that maybe if you own a small business or whatever, let us know. Again, we can provide you an address. You can send it to us and we'll unbox it as we do the show. That way, you know, our viewers, our listeners can hear about whatever your product is. Or again, if you just want to send us something for fun, do so. Again, just yeah. email us beerbellypod at gmail.com. Let us know what's up. <laughs> and I told him that we basically drink anything that last Saturday I had ever clear. You want it done? We'll Oof. do it. Yeah. One we, third of a shot though. I, I am not doing more than one third of a shot. I'll tell you that. <laughs> there you go. Oof. I can't believe you guys did that, but I, I mean, I've had, I've had yeah. ever clear before that was brewed in Denver, Colorado, if I'm not mistaken is where it was from. And yeah, dude, that, I mean, I've only was it the same proof. I don't know about that. It was homemade. It was like a homebrew shit. Hmm. That's all I know. It was distilled at a home because it was a buddy of Sin and I's friend, a friend of a friend, okay. who then brought it to California, gave it to him, and then he let us enjoy some of his, of his of the batch he was given. Anyway, so I have no idea how strong it was, but I will say this for reference, and um, for that matter, only twice in my life, and at least in memory, have I ever dr- had a drink of alcohol where instantly I felt my throat dry up. <laughs> and, and what one, was that? Well, the first time was when I had Bacardi 151 I've when I was like that. 21 years old. It, it's insta dry. Like it's so high in, on octane. It's flammable, it's such a, right? Exactly. It's flammable. Like, I, <laughs> like I've seen it on fire. I've been on fire from it. Literally. I really <laughs> have. I'll, I, that's a story from another, for another episode. Uh, but anyway. There was that time, and then the, the second time was years later, years, like a decade later almost, when I had that home batch of Everclear, and it just completely dried me out. But the problem for me was I kept drinking it. <laughs> oh, so how messed up did you get? Destroyed. I don't remember part of the night. <laughs> I mean, isn't that how most of our stories end? Yeah. I, mean, I, wasn't even, I wasn't in that story, but I'm not surprised. I'm just grateful. I mean, obviously, I wouldn't have done that if I had to drive. I wouldn't have. But I had a designated driver for us, so it worked out nicely. But even still, like, I just, <laughs> hey, I'm worried about this upcoming wedding weekend. <laughs> Oh, man. You know, it's funny, too. I talked to Peter, and he said that on the actual wedding day when we're at the dinner that he's not going to really drink. Oh, wow. Well, he wants to remember it. Well, 
regardless of the reason <laughs> i'm hoping that we get him like he loosens up and yeah. he takes some shots because i mean i'm gonna if if it's not an open bar i'm gonna buy him a shot oh yeah absolutely we all will we all will I mean, it's his I'm wedding. excited about that. I think he's going to loosen up just fine. Like, I'm, I, he's going to want to celebrate. At the very least, I'll bring him a glass of champagne, something, you know what I mean? Which I'm sure, I mean, champagne, it's not that crazy. You'll be all right. But I think it's going to be a really great time, though. I'm super excited. Oh, man. I'm, I'm super excited. <laughs> I feel like this is going to be an Evo that we had in our mid-20s. Oh, yeah. probably. I mean, again, it's the first time any of us are getting married. It's freaking crazy. I'm glad that they're doing it, and now it's going to be an excuse for us to have a great time all together like usual every summer when we get together. Yes. It's, now it's going to be for a different reason, <laughs> a grander reason. reason. Oh, a way grander reason. <laughs> so it's going to be a good time, my friend. Oh, How I, much I, beer do you – go ahead. I wonder what pool – less than half. Okay. So I wonder um, if the pool's going to be open at the, the Cancun Resort. Oh, yeah. I mean, according um, to my mom, who was there recently, it, it's been open. They just really are a lot more strict about how many people are allowed in there at once. Oh. Like, how many people are allowed in the pool area at once, I should say. Oh. So, yeah. Are keep, there time limits? Uh, I, I, don't know about, I don't know about time limits. I wouldn't be surprised. But at the same time, I just heard, like, they really monitor how many people have a wristband, which are allowed to go in, like, the pool dining area and all that stuff, okay. which is fair. I think that's totally fair. But, I mean, I'm looking forward to some daiquiris out there as well. That's what I was hoping for. Mm-hmm. Or just alcohol in general. Right? Exactly. It and don't I, matter. <laughs> and I, I know Sin's really excited because for her birthday, I got, this, I got her this really tight pool floaty. And so she's really excited just to break that out and have a good time with it out there. But we got to buy it's a pump to, to fill it up. Do they let you have those at that pool? I wouldn't doubt it. Just, I mean, if anything, you're safer for having one. I wouldn't doubt it. I've seen people with floaties out there. Oh, then all is good. Right? It don't matter. I'm going to be drinking my ass off. <laughs> okay, AJ. Now What's that up? you're halfway with this can, mm-hmm. what are your opinions on it? Oh, man. I'll say this. If we, you and I were at the brewery together, I would have one again for old time's sake. Is it my go-to by Bottle Logic? No, it's not, to be honest with you. Am I glad that we've tried it and had the experience of it? Oh, yeah, big time. Anything to broaden our horizons beer-wise, I'm down with. Um, but I think the Ghost Proton was a more enjoyable, sm- a Ooh, s'more stout. Oh, so good. Both our Imperial Stouts. That one was actually, I, I remember because the number stood out, it's technically 3.34% stronger than this one, which doesn't make the difference to me as far as li- liking it, I don't think. But it was just it's no. different, a different style of Imperial Stout, though. Oh, excuse me. Hold on one second. Super sweet. That one was unbelievably sweet, though. Mm-hmm. I, want, I honestly, they don't like have nutrition on those cans, Mm-mm. but I wonder what the sugar content was. I bet it was like bad. skyrocket, skyrocket. Oh, yeah. I mean, you think about it to get these flavors that we're getting, they have to do some shit to it. You know, it's I, I highly doubt it's organic Agreed. peanuts that they're putting in the this only thing, you way know? you can make stouts better is by drowning it with sugar. Right. Drink IPAs, people. John for president. <laughs> well, this one says, again, like we mentioned earlier, it has the cacao nibs in there. And I can imagine, cacao. like, it tastes like some thick-ass chocolate in this bitch. So I can see that that being the case, you know? Are you sure that's how it's pr- pronounced cacao? I could be wrong. I mean, I know cacao? that there's... <laughs> that's like my new favorite word, cacao. Cacao. Sir, I'll take an IPA that has cacao in it. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Pretty much, it's like a measurement of chocolate. You know how like Scoville units are used to measure spice. Mm-hmm. Cacao is like how chocolatey something is. You could that's like as layman's term as I can make it because that's as far as I understand it myself. So yeah, the higher okay. the cacao, the the now, stronger AJ, the chocolate. I'm not saying you look fat in those jeans, but you look a bit of a cacao. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, did you stutter a little bit? I'm, that's my bad. Oh, I'm sorry. You look like a cow. Oh, there we go. Thank you. <laughs> Is that better? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> but yeah, dude, this is a heavy ass beer. It's a heavy uh, beer. I think, Mike, let, let, let us know. Hit us up on Twitter or maybe in the Instagram comments. I want to know why you chose both of these beers. I was wondering really. the same thing. And, and have you had um, the Ghost Proton? Yeah. You know what? 
I believe he had, but because he responded to our tweet that we that that we tweeted out for the episode for episode oh. eight or for episode seven, I should say. Um, and I think he said he liked it. But either way, I want to know. Yeah, Mike, if you're watching this, let us know why you chose these two brews in particular because they're pretty good. We're having a hard time, honestly, with the study break. But at the same time, would I drink it again? Yes. Especially if we were right there at the brewery, you wouldn't do it. <laughs> no. Oh, I mean, I would ask for a free sample. Sure. But sure. That, that's about it. <laughs> Fair enough. I think just for me, if it's, if it's like made fresh and brewed fresh right there, why not? Why not? I, I, feel, I figure that's like the optimal way to be able to enjoy it at that point. That's just my mindset on it. Oh, don't drink it, people. Drink IPAs. <laughs> IPAs all day. <laughs> right That'd in the be... camera for that one. <laughs> <laughs> that being said, I actually really did enjoy this uh, German stout ale, without a doubt. I thought this was one of the smoothest beers I've ever had. That's the best way of putting it. I mean, it's very light, and it'd probably take like five of them to get the job done. Maybe seven, but still really good. Still yeah. really, really good. No, absolutely. I mean, you got to think about it mathematically. This one is more than twice as strong as the first. So it's no wonder we're oh, wow. kind of having a tough time with it. But that said, again, we had one <laughs> last week. God bless you. <laughs> Thank you. That was 13.34%, but we were more easily able to kind of work into that one. But that was actually a lot more beer too, wasn't it? It was a huge 16 bottle. ounces. Yeah. It was 68. It can fit or pour two eight ounces. I remember that's like what it showed. Nah, nah, I'm not trying to share we mean it. two eight ounces. AJ, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I did, but I'll take it, I guess. <laughs> you can have half of my ghost proton. Damn. None of it. <laughs> Fair Fire enough. out. <laughs> As I will. Damn. I don't know why I'm yeah. getting the roast, but Drink. I'll take it, I guess. Drink. <laughs> Drink the sorrow away. Oh, this is a that thick face. boy, though, man. It's, it's a thick ass boy. God damn that ass. You got me feeling good, though. No, yeah. I'm, I'm going to be very appreciative. Like, after this, later on tonight, I'm going to take another shower, get ready for bed, and I'm going to just be nice and toasty before I go to sleep tonight. But the journey getting there has been a rough ride. It's a bumpy road for sure. And I'm like, God, what did I do to deserve this? <laughs> yeah. Well, I know what I did to deserve it. Somebody recommended it. Thank you, Mike. Right, exactly. And Not talking it, crap. Actually, real thank you. I, no, yeah, I want to keep trying stouts until I find the one that just changes my mind. Ghost Proton's pretty close. It is pretty close for you. I agree. Yeah, pretty close. But it, it's it's not the one that I'm like. Okay, this may be better than a Happy Hop. <laughs> <laughs> wow, <laughs> two totally different beers. But yeah, fair enough. I guess like That's the same feeling. Point. Like I don't know. There's I just enjoy drinking IPAs. I should say this right off the bat. I'm not much of a sugar drinker. I never drink sodas i haven't had a soda in like seven or eight years now god it's been that long um juices every once in a while but beers especially ipas those are my juices those are my sodas there you go i I love all the different tastes and varieties and that's why i'm hoping with other beers like this one Mm -hmm. this one's not it guys (laughs) bottle logic three out of two though three out of two that weren't ipas so that's a good thing right yeah yeah that's pretty good odds so far the longer we do this show i mean maybe we'll see you might have like a a 12 to 1 ratio to where 12 of them you're just not going to care for but every once in a while you hit that one that just does it for you a little bit that just changes my life Mm -hmm. that's what i'm looking for that's the hope that's the dream right there but again we're only only way of finding that out is if we keep doing this which is the kind of the fun part about the show so I'm excited. Um, before we go, I just wanted to mention also, so there's this one YouTube channel. Just want to do a little quick shout out to um, uh, Beer Sarge. He does these, he's from New Zealand. He reviews all sorts of beers from the New Zealand area. They're just brewed right there on the island. On, and nice. he's a pretty cool guy. Like he, he, He's probably like in his early 40s or so, late 30s. Really nice gentleman. And I just kind of, I wanted to comment to him because he keeps his beer, his reviews real quick and simple. They're probably like five to ten minutes long or something like that. But I just he, you could tell that he's kind of like us in the sense that, I mean, he enjoys his IPAs primarily. I like to think I don't know him that well. Respect. Or like that. 
But <laughs> I feel like whenever, at least it's probably just me. The episodes I watch just happen to be IPA reviews. But oh man, like he, it, it, I don't know. His, his his style of doing things is pretty fun. So go shot, sh- give him a shout out on and Beer Sarge on YouTube. Uh, just let him know that Beer Belly sent you. Let him know because yeah, he's a pretty nice guy. And I was like, hey man, whenever all this bullshit is over, we would love to come out and ha- and on your set and have a good time at your bar because he has like this cool bar set up there where it has like a TV. He plays music. Oh. And it's, it it almost looks like a mini, a, like a very small mini tiki lounge thing he's got going on and i was like we would love to be able to just enjoy and maybe do a couple episodes together and he's like anytime fellas so maybe just oh, being that, polite. that conversation happened it happened i mean it was like a quick exchange on youtube comments but yeah you seem like a nice guy i would always uh, down i will book the tickets if we need to that would be really fun mm. all right oh i'm almost done with this thing how about you i'm like right here i'm actually gonna finish it right now let's do let's it get the sneakers over with oh cheers cheers final go here we go Woo. Oh, oh man i see why they have the snickers i i get like a, a slight just brief of like chocolate and peanut but then the roasted peanut taste takes over <laughs> yeah it's just something it's like the last bit of it was a lot of syrup there. Oh, I think, I think one mistake we're making with this, I know we're not making the bit, the best faces right now, which sucks because I want to be able to promote these beers. <laughs> but one thing that people do for like certain, like, like Belgian ales for Belgian whites and stuff like that to get the sediment out, you kind of have to like roll the bottle or roll the cans that way it properly mixes. I think we should probably do the same with self with stouts from now on. At least heavier stouts, just roll them a little bit. Make sure they mix well. Kind of like when you get a like a milk okay. tea, like a like a boba ice or milk tea or fruit tea. I see cream just black coffee. Around. Just exactly. <laughs> Swish it around a little bit. Let the flavors infuse. I, I think maybe that's something we need to do without with no. like obviously finding a find a balance between like not tarnishing the carbonation, but also preserving the, like mixing the flavor properly. I think that's what we need to try doing next time for sure. You're not tricking me, right? No, no. You're like, we're not going to do an episode and you're going to be like, this is the one. And then I shake it up and then they're... <laughs> <laughs> it could happen. Me, AJ. <laughs> it could happen. But I'm just saying personally, I think that would help. <laughs> it might. I don't know. <laughs> I'll it come at just... you, AJ. Come at me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Through the computer screen. Oh, I can't wait till we can do this in person, sir. God dang it, dude. Oh, it's going to be fun. Pretty soon. Pretty soon. Well, I mean, the weekend of the wedding, we'll probably, we'll definitely have at least one episode. Right. I I look forward to us being able to do one without that setting as well, though, where we can just do a beer belly episode just on a whim during the week, during a weekend, whatever, and just have a good time shooting the shit, you know? I'm excited for that. God dang it. It's going to be dope. Right. Well... As John mentioned earlier, halfway through this episode, again, you can find us on Instagram and Twitter with at BeerBellyPod. You can even email us with BeerBellyPod at gmail.com. We have our other podcast that we do with our friend Peter where we cover movies, gaming, comics, book, comic books, and TV shows called SD Geek Podcast, S-D-G-E-E-K Podcast. Find us on, on social media as well. If you Google that, you can find us anywhere. But anyway, this has been another episode of Beer Belly, the eighth episode oh, yeah. of Beer Belly, if I'm not Ugh. mistaken. We're, episode we're, nine we are two soon. episodes away from being alcoholics, AJ. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I thought we had been, but if, if it means that we have to do more, then so be it. That's fine. Well, an actual, an actual recording. Like, we're being caught in recording being alcohol. Before, I was able to deny it. Now, it's kind of like there's proof on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fair point. <laughs> now that it's documented, we all know. All I have to logic. embrace my real side. Exactly. Exactly. That's the whole reason why we started this show is to be able to just first have that realization within ourselves. Like, yes, I am an alcoholic. Thank you. You know, <laughs> be it. responsible though. Don't go crazy guys. Don't do what we do. Have a good time, but be safe. John, what are your sexy words of wisdom for this week? Drink better stouts guys. <laughs> this, this stout was not that good. That's John's one minute of drinking. Nice. <laughs> all right then well we'll see you next time again we're beer belly podcast on youtube we'll see you then later Peace. <laughs> <laughs>